Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you how to do these neon fades with glitter on top. So um, Sarah Shakespeare posted quite a few pictures in the Magpie Glitter Facebook group um, of using the neon pigments um, as a fade over like a pale pink peachy gel colour. And then one of the ones she did as well, she put um, a glitter on top. So loads of you guys were asking how she did it, everything like that. And actually I fell completely in love with them. So really wanted to try her technique out myself. So these were the nails that um, I came up with. I mean, you don't have to have the glitter on top at all. It's completely up to you. But I just thought, um, as loads of you were asking how to do these, I thought I'd show you. So let's get started. So for your base colour, you can have a pale pink or a peachy colour. I'm going to be using OPI Gel Colour. Are we there yet in the pastel shade, which is this real sort of peachy colour. Just open it up so you can see. It's a lovely colour on its own, but I just thought it would be really nice with the neon pigment fade. So for the neon pigment, I'm obviously gonna be using Magpie pigment. This is in Joy. You can use Coral or Zoe if you want to. I mean, in fact, you can do any color that you want. I just, um, this is what Sarah used, so I thought I would use the same. Then for on top of the fade, I'm gonna be using Magpie glitter in Blossom. And just to show you guys, I also have my Magpie Glitter table stand to put them both in. And as you can see, they both fit in really well. In fact, the pigment more than the glitter. So to apply the pigment onto the tips, I'm going to be using the Magpie Detailer Brush. Then to apply the glitter on the top, I'm going to be using the Magpie Applicator Brush. And then to dust off any excess, I've got the Magpie Glitter duster brush. So I'm going to be showing you um, just on a nail pop today because obviously all of my nails are done. So we're just going to get our base colour, so your pinky peach colour. And we're just going to do one layer of the gel colour and curing that in our lamp for 30 seconds. Then we're just going to apply another layer of the base coat. and cure that in our lamp for 30 seconds. So then we're gonna be getting our pigment and just unscrew the lid. So, and you can see, hopefully, that there is already some pigment in my lid. So I'm actually just gonna move that out of the way and I'm just gonna use the amount that's in the lid. You really need the tiniest amount for this look. So, and first of all, we're going to get our detailer brush. So, and we're just going to pick up some of the pigment with the end of the detailer brush, not a lot. And obviously, if this is your finger, this is the cuticle, that's free edge. And again, if this is the client's finger facing towards you, cuticle, free edge. So and we're going to have the brush turning the opposite way from the cuticle. And all we're going to do is we're actually going to feather upwards. And if you've got bits here that are like um, excess bits of powder, just wipe off the brush a little bit because we really don't want a lot for this look. And we're just lightly feathering the pigment up the nail. Now, I go sort of different ways as well to make the feathered look a bit more um, sort of sparing. And you really want the lightest touch with this as well. Not hardly any pigment on the nail. Now we're going to get our gel top coat and we're going to do 
bit of a floaty layer over the nail making sure to cover all the nail as well and we're going to cure this in our lamp for about 15 seconds because we're just flash curing this layer we don't want to completely cure the top coat layer so yeah do either sort of 10 to 15 seconds and then take it out of the lamp so then we're going to get blossom and our nail that's been flash cured in our lamp for 15 seconds our applicator brush dip that into the jar and we're just going to lightly press blossom into that top coat layer like that and we're not going to burnish this we're then just going to get our duster brush lightly brush off the excess and under the free edge and then we're going to put this back in our lamp for the remaining 15 seconds um, that we're missing on that top coat layer. Then now we're going to do um, two more layers of top coat. So your first sort of layer of top coat needs to be a bit of a floaty top coat, a bit more product on the brush than you would normally have. Just gently touching the nail and obviously making sure to cap the free edge and then we're going to cure that for 30 seconds in our lamp and then we're just going to do one more layer of top coat and this is a nice thin layer of top coat just to make sure that everything is encased within the gel manicure capping the free edge and curing that in our lamp for 30 seconds and we're just going to wipe off the inhibition layer and there you have it. So obviously um, I've done it sort of the same way that I did mine with the same amount of pigment. Obviously if you've got shorter nails um, you might want to do a little bit less pigment. You obviously have to work out um, how you want the ombre effect to work if you've got shorter nails. Um, and as well obviously if you wanted to you can do a lot more of the neon pigment ombre if you wanted to as well. Um, the key for this look is obviously to really feather it up and do the lightest touch and have really little amount of pigment actually on your brush. Um, you can kind of see as I went along um, on, on my nails how it's really dark at the bottom here and then really fades up here. So I hope that you liked this um, quick and easy tutorial guys. I know that loads of you have um, been requesting to find out how to do it and obviously how to add glitter to the pigment as well. This is just one way of doing it. You can um, obviously mix um, like the dusts in with the pigment which I'll try and do a tutorial of at some point um, within the next month or so but um yeah this is just one way of doing it and it's really really effective and i just really loved um what sarah did so i had to recreate it so please like and subscribe guys for future videos and i'll see you all again soon bye